Hey, what's up? It's pumpkin season and finally we're gonna be making pumpkin bread. Of course the sourdough version. Slightly sweet with the flavor of pumpkin and that gorgeous yellow color. All of the good thing in one bread. I'm gonna also show you how to be creative with the shaping to impress your loved one. So let's get into this, shall we? All right, I'm using Japanese pumpkin. You can use any pumpkin you like. And let me show you how to turn this to puree. Skin off and cut it into the pieces. Bake at 180 up to one hour until it's full of flavor and soft. That was to get maximum flavor. You can use one of those canned pumpkin puree too. No problem. Bring a bowl, add six grams salt, 170 gram water, mix, 70 gram active starter, Try to mix a little bit. I'm using 10 gram honey. You can make it more sweet if you like. And a pinch of fresh cinnamon. Trust me. All of those beautiful pumpkins, which is about 170 gram, mix. And 350 gram bread flour. Mix everything with the help of a spatula until you had a shaggy dough like this. Now, this stage is important. Wet up your hand and check the dough. If the hydration was too high for you, you can add a little bit of flour. And of course, if it was dry, you can add a little bit of water. Cover it up and let it rest for 30 minutes. The gluten has developed a little bit. Now perform one set of stretch and fold. Look how yellow and gorgeous it is. Cover it up and let it rest for another 30 minutes and 30 minutes later another set of stretch and fold. By now your dough should look like this. I mean strong and smoother than before. Now I'm gonna grab the dough a couple of time and round it up inside the bowl. Beautiful. Now cover it up and this time let it rest for 45 minutes. 45 minutes later, come back with wet hands and perform one set of coil fold. Simply go under the dough, lift it up and fold it on itself. Another 45 minute rest and another set of coil fold. And those beautiful bubbles are good signs. After last set of coil fold, cover it up and this time let it finish its ball fermentation. My room temperature is around 26 degrees Celsius and it takes around 2 hours. 2 hours later, the dough should look like this. Puffy, airy, full of fermentation and when you flip the bowl, it's gonna release from the bowl easily. Get the help from the scraper because it's stickier than normal sourdough. And now, round it up with the help of the surface but gently. And this is called pre-shape. I'm gonna let it rest on the counter on cover for up to 20 minutes. Bring a bull shaped banneton because after a while I'm gonna show you how I shape my round sourdough. First, I'm going to create one rectangular, open it up and dig a little bit. Then grab one side and fold it to the center. Turn the dough 90 degrees, grab the other side and do the same. Use a scraper if it was a sticky and do the same. Another sides fold on each other. Now that we have rectangular, I'm going to grab each wings and fold to the center on each other. Gorgeous, right? Now I'm gonna flip this bad boy and with the help of the surface again gently create a little bit more tension. Perfect. Now into the banneton and I'm gonna let it rest on the counter for 10 to 12 minutes. You can even create more tension. Grab each side again to the center and stitch the dough into the fridge overnight, cold proof, and the day after it's ready to go. Now let me show you how to be creative and create a gorgeous pumpkin shape. The only thing you need is some butcher twins, 
baking paper and a peel or board to transfer it into the oven. Set the twins, put the baking paper and then flip the dough, remove the banneton. Now go ahead and tie each twins to the center, but not too tight. Of course, you can cut the excess part. This was the simple one. And I'm gonna dust up the second one with cocoa powder. And this would be another option for Halloween. You can even score them and be more creative to impress your friends and family. Bake them at 230 degrees Celsius for 20 minutes, then remove the lid or steam, I'm gonna bake them from open baking, and bake for another 20 minutes, or until it's looked like this. Beautiful, right? and the gorgeous black one. Now let's see what we got inside. Creamy, soft, beautiful yellow color crumbs. And my favorite part, tasting time. Smell of cinnamon and pumpkin kills me. It's soft, slightly sweet, and full of flavor. I love it. Keep baking and take good care of yourself. Happy Halloween!